This is a 63-foot marquee. It's a 2013. They build these in America, Wisconsin, in fact. Always nice to look at American boats while we are in America, because they don't get this kind of thing in the UK very often. High-low platform back here. There's also access to a small crew cabin and the, uh, the engine space as well. So we will take a look at that. But let's head on up here first of all, head inside, and we're going to give you the full tour. So cockpit back here as usual, nice big overhang as well on this one. You've also got a little bar area here. So there is the barbecue in here. You've got a sink underneath this one. And then a bit of storage and a fridge underneath. So that is that. If we head on this way, it'll take us inside. And very typically for an American boat, it's all about social space. Just loads of seating. You can see it wraps itself around here, around there. It's on this side. It's just a really great hangout spot, isn't it? Imagine coming down with your friends on this and just chilling out. It'd be brilliant. There's a big TV over on this side. You've got the AV equipment underneath it. And if we head on forward, this is more of a sort of dining area, really. You've got a slightly bigger table here. And the helm is here as well. So big captain's chair. Look at that. That's fantastic. Uh, throttle controls. She's on IPS on this one. So we've got an IPS joystick for close quarters manoeuvring. And you've got the twin multifunction display. So this one's giving us charts currently. And we've also got a camera on this one. So that's like a, that's a reversing camera, effectively. It's from the Flybridge looking down onto the bathing platform. So you can see it's easy to reverse in where the dock is. So that is that. And then there's a little bar over here. So if you drink some bits and pieces, like so. I like this little tray in here as well that you can take out and carry drinks around on. This one down here is just a bit more storage, like so. And then on this one, the galley is down. We're seeing a lot of galley up layouts these days. Galley down still works well because it does tuck this into a separate zone on the boat, which a lot of people like. So, galley is just here. We've got dishwasher on this one. There's the microwave, the hob, of course. Big fridge freezer really good size just there and we can come on around again it's like a sort of almost a half deck because it drops again down to the lower deck and if we head forward first of all we will discover the vip guest cabin loads of headroom in here nicely finished i like the woodwork and the cream upholstery that all looks really good tv av equipment etc and we've got a hatch overhead as well for ventilation and light and so forth there is uh, hanging lockers in here like so, and this one has its own ensuite. In fact, there are three cabins on this yacht, and all of them are ensuite. So, toilet just there, and then the shower is in a separate little area. Just tucked away in there, rain full shower. Very good, sink here. And then if you come back down the boat a little way, what we've got is a day head, so we can come down here and straight into there. Don't need to go through any cabins. That's in there. Again, there's a shower in there. But the interesting thing about that one is that if we shut that one and go into this cabin, this is cabin three. We've got the two side-by-side -side single beds, again with the wardrobe, again with the AV equipment. And then in behind here, that is ensuite access back into that one that we just looked at, the day heads. So hence, overnight, everyone's got their own ensuite, which is lovely. That's the steps that we came down. Now down here, there's a couple of things to show you, which are a washing machine and a dryer. Like so. I think I even got those the right way around, didn't I? That's <laughs> fantastic. That was a complete guess, but I guess I had a 50-50 chance. And then if we head back again, owner's cabin, so full beam of the boat. And very nicely appointed. Little dressing area here. Loads of storage around in places like this, again with the AV equipment, of course. If we come around here, this is a rather nice walk-in wardrobe. So that's in there like that. Fantastic. It is nice if you're spending some time on the boat, get all your clobber away in there. More drawers over here. It's a nice, comfortable boat, actually, isn't it? It works well. And then we'll come on round. Nice little settee, tuck yourself away, etc. And then in here is the ensuite to this cabin. So, of course, 
it's the owner's cabin, it's the biggest ensuite. You've got the separate shower down at the end. There is the sink here, of course, and then just behind me is the toilet. There we go. So that is the interior. Let's trundle back out of here, wind our way back up, take a look around the decks, we'll have a look up at the flybridge, and then we'll go down and take in the engines. That is a nice comfy zone though, isn't it? Like that. All right, let's come back. Oh, it's so lovely and cool in here. Back into the Florida heat, here we go. <laughs> So, let's take a stroll around this way, I think. Up onto the side decks. There we go, 630 Sport Yacht. And up here you've got sunbathing area. I like the way they put a cut through here so it's an easy walk around. If you're putting fenders out or whatever and you're just crossing the boat, that just makes life a lot easier than scrambling over the top of the cabin. We can come right on around here. Concealed anchor on this one. You can just see it down under there and it goes out through the stem rather than over the top. In fact, there it is, poking out. That one up there is a searchlight. Obviously you spin that around when you use it and point that forward. And here's how she looks from here. Let's go back down this side. Like they've done this moulding in around here, that looks rather cool, isn't it? These are nav lights, nice rail to hang on to. It's quite good for rails actually, there's another one here, so you can hold on to that as you step down. And then you've got another rail there as you come into this area. This is the steps then up to the flybridge. And what you've got up here is a great dining area. There's a hard top on here, and what they've done with this is enclosed it. You can see this goes all the way around. Apart from this back end section. There we go. That's a pretty decent size, isn't it? Nice dining area here. You can see how that folds up if you want that a bit smaller. And then if you push on forward a bit, there's another nice little nook in here. And then there's a bar area over here. So this is sink. There is the barbecue under here, and a fridge, and an ice maker. And then there's a double helm seat here, so you can drive the boat. Again, as I mentioned, you've got all this enclosed, but these sections here are sections that you can roll up nice and easily. You just unzip them and roll them. Multifunction displays again. Volvo engine instrumentation is on here as well. Fusion Hi-Fi. You've got the uh, IPS joystick, throttles, and so forth. Cool, okay, let's push on back. Last thing to look at is the engine space. So we're back down here. The door here that slides out and across, so you can close that and if you need to. Did I mention a high-low platform? I think I did, but if not, that's where the tender sits and lowers into the water, and then access to the crew area. It is only a 63-foot boat, so it is only a very small crew area. Most of these would be owner operated so this is a very occasional zone and it's just giving you basically somewhere for someone to sleep there's a loo in here and this is actually a, a wet room as well because you can see there's a shower there and a little microwave and a sink and so on great den for kids though isn't it all right let's push on back through here where we will find the engine compartment so generator is here um, there is actually a ladder here that takes you back up into the cockpit, so it's another way through. And then the engines are here. They're Volvo Penta, IPS engines, IPS 1200s in this one. One there, you can spin the camera around, generator I think I mentioned, and then again here IPS 1200. They're 900 horsepower each, and they're giving the boat about 30 knots, with a cruising speed of about 23 in range. Not absolutely certain, but um, it's got quite decent sized tanks on this, so I'd have thought you're getting up probably towards 400 miles range with this one. There we go. Okay, let's come back out of here. Step back up onto the bathing platform. Helicopter buzzing overhead. Let's chop that one down. 
there we go. And I will stand over here and say massive thanks to Dennison Yachting for organising that tour. Huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of that one and we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.